All right, guys. Welcome to class. Um, let's begin. Okay, hey, my dear, welcome to class, and thanks for coming happily. So let's go ahead and start with our reading deck. Let's not talk about tickets, let's just do class. Huh. I do need my timer for today. Five eyes. Thank you. Some of the nations. together farmers? Well, we'll figure that out tomorrow, won't we? Remember the nest and sink? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Separate. Right, All right. Thank you for letting me know. So now we're going to go on to our instant words. And we're reading columns today. Which direction do we read columns? Down. Top to bottom. Good. Go ahead and repeat after me. Just. Just. Our. Our. Back. Back. Me. Me. After. After. Most. Most. Give. Give. Very. Very. Thing. Thing. Name. Name. Can you use your finger to point to the words as you read them to yourself? Name. Go up. Thing. Very. Wait, what? You did great. Keep going. Go. Most. After. Me. Back. Are. Just. Thank you for finishing. Because I was doing You read those that. in an instant, huh? Thank you for reading them top to bottom. Let's move on to our fluency packet now. And I need a pencil. We're going to do um, one, two, and three today, I think. Let me set my timer just to make sure we don't go over, though. We'll do as well as we can. Um... Here it is. Okay. So, repeat these after me. Thank you. All right. I just found them on the floor. That's fine. Go ahead. Want them. Thank you. Chat. Chat. Chop. Chip. Can you repeat them after me? Chat. Chat. Chop. Chop. Chip. Chip. Chum. Chum. Um, and these, what section? What's <laughs> the detail? Right. All right. Jam. Jam. Job. Job. Just. Just. Junk. Junk. Jump. Jump. Okay. Well, you go ahead and start at the top and read all the way through. I'm going to hold on to those so they're not distracting. Joyce, can I hold those? Because I want you to do your very best. You can hold them when we're done. All right. Um, I need to. Chop, chop, chip, 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 Will you start at the top and read all the way through? If you get to the bottom, you can start over. Ready? Go. Chump, 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 ch
Jog, jo job. 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 Junk. Junk. <laughs> hmm. You feel like you'd do better if you had one more chance at that? Because you seemed a little off. Okay. Let's go on to our um, next one, okay? Yeah. Let me just see where we stopped. Nope, we're not using those right now. So repeat these words after me. Duck, flock, back, stock, truck, hutch, latch, ditch, notch, fetch. All right, you ready? You may begin. Duck, flock, back, stock, truck, truck, dock, stock, flock, back, back, duck, stock, chop, chuck, flock, stock, truck, duck. So that's 43. Okay. okay. And we have one last one we're going to read today. I got a big screen. You don't need to talk to the screen. All right. Chore. Will you repeat these after me? Chore. Chore. Ride. Ride. Mayor. Mayor. Gate. Gate. Hole. Hole. Joke. Joke. Cute. Cute. These. These. Time. Life. 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 All right, you may begin when you're ready. Chore ride, mare, gate, hole. Hole, chore, gate, ride, mare, mare. Chore, gate, hole, ride. Gate, hole, chore, ride, mare. Joke, cute. These times, life. What? Cute. Time, joke, life. These. These. Lifetime cute joke, time these cute life joke. Chore hole gate these life ride joke cute gate hole these cute time their joke time ride life chore mare. Keep going. Chore. I wanted to go. Oh. I only wanted to get that. Fine. You could have done more. Yeah, that's really well. Done. Okay, that was just uh, one more than last time. So one hundred. Okay. Yeah, you're at 120. Good reading. These are a bunch of one syllable words. And it sounded like I heard lots of fat puffs, huh? No, two and more than last time. Okay. Thanks. Let's put these away. Oh, can you put them in my eyelashes? <laughs> Not during class. But hey, I'm going to give you some tickets for doing some fast, efficient reading, accurate reading. No, we don't play it during class. And I forgot to give you tickets for your instant words and also for your um, instant reading deck. Good work, Joyce. Let's go on and do our spelling deck. You need to get your paper for that. We're not doing the whole deck today. We're just doing a partial. You may use this pencil. So let's go ahead and grab our chart. Right. Here we go. So for the instant reading deck, uh, spelling deck, you're going to look, listen, and echo, and then name and write. Thank you, Joyce. So you've got your pencil ready. I've got our sounds ready. Okay. Uh, let me make sure I know what we're doing here. Okay. You ready for this? Yes, I do. Let me make sure I, I know what sounds so I'm giving you. you. Okay. Your first sound is, oh, and I like to set a timer for this so we don't take too long. Okay, good. The G. O. O. L. M. 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 Y. Yeah, Y. Comma. 
Try that again, it looked like a Y. Yep. Yeah. I'm happy to see you trying cursive on so many of these. Church or chair. Okay. H T H S. -S. Final sound. Final sound. S S. F mm -hmm. V mm -hmm. N G. And don't forget sing. N G G G. It's just on the bottom. I remember all these. G -G -G -G. Thank you. Was it impossible to remember all those? You did a great job. Do we beat the timer? 13 seconds. All right, so let's give you a couple tokens because I saw some cursive and you had a good attitude about it. And that's what we really like. Okay, I'll take that from you. Ash, will you put your name at the top for me? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, after spelling deck comes our spelling practice. Oops. Thanks, sis. Just <laughs> okay. So, uh, for our spelling practice today, I'm going to remind you about the pro procedure for spelling with derivatives. You got this. This is what we practiced yesterday, right? I love spelling with derivatives. Good. It's my favorite thing in the whole nation. We're going to look, listen, echo, unblend, get some mouth pictures. I can say all the rules with my eyes closed. We'll separate them, make a decision, touch a name. Write and code. Let me get you your mouth pictures and there's one other thing I needed to get for you. Yeah, where's my, my neck? A piece of paper to write on. Where was that? Oh, I was cleaning off the desk. Um, okay. And I wanted to also review just a couple of rules, mostly the um, rule for adding a vowel. Oh, vowel I suffix. I, can I say it? Please explain our vowel suffix rule. So a base word has a base word that ends with, with a vowel consonant. A single vowel and a single consonant it's accented. Um, accented. Um, and there's a suffix which a vowel. Yeah, a vowel just suffix. we double the consonant. That's right. Like the fiddle. Hmm. I did the e out. Actually, that sounded like a. Final stable syllable. Because remember, base word can stand alone without Oopsies. its suffix. That's Oopsies. all right. Um, a, couple, tittle, tittle, tittle. a couple other um, rules to remember as you're as you're writing today. If you hear a vowel sound in front of a consonant sound, and it's a short vowel sound, we write it vowel consonant. What if the final sound of the word makes an a sound? How do you write that a sound, Joyce? In a final position. E. Um, but if the very final a -Y, sound a -Y. would be a y, that's right. There's no consonant there. Good work. Okay, I think you've got this. So let me go ahead and give you your first word. Yeah, look and listen. Yeah. Snapping. 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 My teachers have stopped that. Oh, 
Can you get, pull your math pictures down? Yes. Yeah. It's easy to forget. That's why we review the rules all the time. The procedures, I mean. I just have three smiling mouths. <sighs> Let's take a look. No, smile. There's one up there, two, three. Oh, okay. I only have two. Oh, maybe I can give you another one if you need it. There's... Thanks, Joyce. Also, you have three mouths. By the way, did I get another one of those? Sure, you did. Oh, also, there's one. a big pile there. Do oh, you want to to me? Look at some sounds. I'm so happy. Can you arrange these sounds? That's a thin string, isn't it? And then, mm, good. You've got your middle nasal. Ah! Yeah. I'm snapping my ears. You are. I'm gonna Where's work. your sound? It's right there. And uh, boys, uh, the right there. Okay. And then see, I've got my suffix yeah. separated. Yeah, 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 That's good. So now we can take a look at our base word. Touch and name the letters. S N A P. In fact, let's go ahead and write that so that we can make a decision. I see that I've got a vowel and a consonant. A vowel, single vowel, single consonant. Accented. So if I'm going to add a vowel suffix, I N G. Double, 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 double. G. Now, if I'm coding it. Box the suffix, accent the base word, oh, two adjacent consonants, cross one out, the vowel on a close, a little short, cut it with a brief, snapping. Oh, you did a great job coding yours. You remembered your accent, and I don't want you to, so I could do it. Oh, really? Okay, you know what? Next time, I'll wait for you to explain it. Let's go ahead and do our next word. It is... I'm going to let you do this one, Joyce. The board. Shopper. Shop. Er. Shop. Er. Good. All right. Let's get Can some mouth pictures. No, I need it written on your paper. Fine. But I'll I'll wait and put my pictures up until after you do yours. Okay. Can you touch and name the letters for me? Could be. S H O P E R. But, 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 boo! Wait right there. Wait right there. Wait right there. Freeze. And Elsa, and I'm going to freeze it. Okay. And we'll have them first stop. Okay, shopper. S. That's a vowel, so you'll double the consonant. I did say unfreeze. S H O. I did say unfreeze. I need to catch up to you. I've got a base word, has a vowel, on, single vowel, and single consonant, and like you said, the vowel suffix of E R. So to combine them, I need to double the consonant. Okay, now hand the mouth over there. Stop, freeze. Freeze. I'm waiting for you. Go ahead, quickly code it first. So now I'm going to box the suffix. I need to underline the PP and cross them out and debate. And what my mom always forgets, it's on top of the stop, 
to put a I mean, uh, accent, accent on the base for it, right? And you already got the brief of the oh, well, on a close little short, cut it with a brief. Shopper. Fabulous, sis. All right, you ready for your sentence dictation? Okay, let's keep going. I, I want more time for the book, okay? okay? Okay. So here's your sentence. I want you to look and listen. And you're going to echo. I'll say it again, and then you echo. And then you can write. Okay. This is the saddest play. 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 You can write it. Just please write it. I forgot to give you some instant words. It's fine. I, I bet you know them though, huh? Good. Do you know how in song books they say how to say it? Say it sadly. Hmm. This is the saddest. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay, so I see you've got your sight word circled, and you coded is with a breathe. Nice. On saddest, I was so happy to watch you catch the suffix and you boxed it. You also accented the base the base word, crossed out the second consonant and got the breathe above the short vowel sound. And then I can see that your AY combination, you arced it. Even made me even happier if you remember to capitalize the first word of the sentence and you used punctuation because a sentence is a group of words that expresses a complete thought, begins with a capital letter and ends with punctuation. And the punctuation. All right, you did a fabulous job, sis. Can you tell me which word in that sentence is a derivative? I think it's saddest. Nicely done. So we learned a few um, rules for adding suffixes to base words, haven't we? I should have put my mouth pictures away. Well, I just did. The one we just practiced today was the doubling rule. But we've also learned that a base word, adding a consonant suffix, you just add the suffix. And the base word has ends with two adjacent consonants and you're adding a vowel suffix, you just add it. And if your base word ends with two adjacent vowels or has two adjacent vowels in it, um, like a vowel, a vowel team, and you're adding a vowel suffix, you just add the suffix. Good work. So, have some tickets. Um, I would like to ask you, that last, that last um, sentence that you wrote, had the combination a y. Can you tell me the difference between a combination and a digraph? A digraph is letters or letters added. Um. Okay. A y. They. So, oh, digraphs. Um. They're two adjacent letters. Two adjacent letters. And they make. And they make a one, one sound. sound. And you underline them. But for a combination. Combination. There are two sounds, but. Two letters makes two sounds, and then something unexpected happens, and you arc it. Fabulous. We should review digraphs and and combinations more often to get those straight. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on our reading time. Um, 
just to get review. Here's your bookmark, by the way. Um, I like that. Sure. So when we're reading a book, or reading anything that it's like a story that's in fiction, we want to pay attention to who the main characters are, where it's happening, when it is happening, what the problem is, why it's a problem, and how it gets resolved. We haven't read very far yet. Do we know who our main character is? Yes. Do you remember his name? No. But there is a problem! There is a problem! It's a, so I'm looking for my pink tag. It says his name is John Midas. We don't know exactly where it takes place or when, but we do have a sense of what the problem is, right? Oh. He loves candy and he does not share it. He is candy mad. Just like that person that loves to buy shoes, he's spending all of that American money. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, we did not have any, oh, here's one of the vocabulary words that I think might come up. The word complications. I think this might be a word you know. C O M P L I C A T I O N S. Very. What do you think the word complications might mean? Very complicated. Something's complicated. You know what it means if something's complicated? No. All right. Well, let's pay attention to what that means. The other word is persisted. P E R S I S T E D. So the base word is persist. So persisted means happened in the past. Do you know what the word persist means? Do you have any ideas or guesses? Well, let us read. I think we stopped on page I don't 16. This bottom paragraph on page 16. Okay, I got it. Do you have my yellow sticky note I just no. misplaced? Okay, well. I'm going to move these to the tables so that we can both pull from there to mark our books. Okay, I will begin reading and then I want you to read the next page. Dr. Cranium was a, oh, it's falling. Dr. Cranium was a tall, thin man with a bald head and a gray Wait, mustache. What? what page? Page 16. I want that. May I see your book, please? What? Are you on page 16? I was on the page. Okay, well, Okay. Can, can you turn to page 16? Yeah. yeah. And at the bottom, on the left side, it says Dr. Cranium. How sweet candy for measles. Right. Wait. Do you remember he went at the bottom where it says Dr. Cranium? He mm -hmm. went to the doctor because he, uh... He ate so much candy. Well, no, we he think. Got, he got bumps all yeah, over. Yeah, they think it's measles. Dr. Cranium was a tall, thin man with a bald head and a gray mustache. He looked through his glasses at John and said, Hmm, he eats lots of candy, Mr. Midas said. He hasn't been eating his meals properly, Mrs. Midas said. That's just what I thought, Dr. Cranium said. Will you keep reading what Dr. Cranium is saying? <laughs> Joyce, I need you to read too. Dr. Cranium says, I can tell by looking at him that he eats much, much too much candy. The doctor shown? Shown. Shown a uh, a little electric light into John's right ear. Then he shone it into John's left ear. Then he shone it in John's nose. He told John to open wide and say, Ah! B ah! B B B That's an H. A H. Ah! Ah! Oh. He, then he shone the light into a John's mouth. Much too much candy, I just mean, he seems like a student of candy. Kind of he candy. seems to be full of candy. He, 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 do you know what I mean? He seems to be he full of, of candy. candy. He told John to sit down and relax. Then he picked a small rubber band hammer and gave, gave John a light tap on the right knee. Just below the jaw. Joint? Joint. John felt a really old kick. John giggled. It's not going to laugh at all, seems to be. said, no, John. The doctor was a, a little healthy boy who didn't eat too much candy would kick harder than that. Sorry, kid. John played weak, but I can kick harder if I want me to. Japan. Finish that paragraph. He gave a sudden high kick, which knocked the hammer out of Dr. Kerman's hand. It landed on a, its, its rubber head and bounced across the room. John! Hey, hold 
on a second. Uh, we just finished your page. Mm -hmm. Did we get a sense of why eating too much candy might be a problem? Yeah. What kind of things is the doctor noticing? Uh, his ears are full of candy. Yeah, he's full of candy. I noticed that he said uh, a boy, he's a healthy boy, he doesn't eat too much candy. He can kick harder than that. So, but then he's like, I can kick harder. And I, whoosh. anyway. Can you read that? Yep, I'll read this next page. John, exclaimed Mrs. Midas, I'm so sorry, Dr. Cream. John, tell the doctor you're sorry for kicking his hammer. I'm sorry I kicked your hammer, he said. I would recommend less candy, Dr. Cranium told Mr. and Mrs. Midas. An upset stomach can lead to all sorts of complications. On the way home, Mrs. Midas tried to explain to John that she thought the doctor meant what she thought the doctor meant by complications. You see, she said, if you put too much of one kind of food in your stomach and not enough of other kinds, it is bad for your whole body. Because different parts of your body need different kinds of food. Do you understand? Did you notice we came across one of our words? So what could complications be? No. What? Well, the, her, the mom was saying, if you put too much food in your stomach it's, mm, instead of others, it can be bad for your body. So notice his leg doesn't kick as high as it should. Maybe his ears aren't working as well as they should. He's got spots. So complications would basically be things not working the way they should. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we already put a sticker up, right, to say why eating too much candy is a problem, because he's getting these complications. Well, I didn't. Here, get a yellow sticker there. It's your turn to read, by the way. Is it where are we? To the top of 19. Let's finish this think, chapter. I think so. Yeah. I think so. I think so. <gasps> Just read it. I think so. I think so, John said. things you're supposed to have to make you grow big and strong. I don't like bananas or Johnson. Johnson. Especially when they're supposed to end the covered with chocolate. With chocolate. Chocolate man. They're called banana surprises. Mr. Meta looked Midas. at... His name is Mr. Midas. Midas looked at Mrs. Midas. And Mrs. Midas looked at Mr. Midas. And both shrugged their shoulders. Sometimes it was hard to make John's understanding things. At home, while Mr. Midas was Mrs. Midas was busy in the kitchen, Mr. Midas continued to reason with John. You mean you'd rather eat candy than anything else, and chocolate rather than any other kind of candy? Mr. Midas asked. Yes, John assured him. Oh yes. Do you want to read this page, and then I'll do the very last one. I'll read it. I'll read a paragraph. And then I'll okay. Do you think it's such thing that there's such thing as enough, Mr. Permis? My Mr. Midas <laughs> persisted. No. Oh, persisted. <laughs> um, right. Like, like pushed. He is kind of pushing, right? Yeah. Because they keep pestering him, like pushing, saying, "Hey." So persisting means like not giving up. Mr. Midas really wants mm -hmm. to communicate this. Do you think that things are best in their places? I mean, don't you think there's time for spaghetti and meatballs and time for roast beef and even a time for pickled herring? Herring, that's how you herring? Uh -huh. What's that? It's a kind of fish. And garlic toast, as well as a time for chocolate. Or would you rather have chocolate all the time? Chocolate all the time, John replied emphatically. Chocolate's best, that's all. Other things are just food, but chocolate's chocolate. Chocolate. Your turn. I think I understand, Mr. But. Bur my just broke in sharply very well she took a deep breath and went on john he said if you can't understand what sort of a diet is really best for you you can 
You can. Can't you? Can't you? Can't you at least get into your head that you, that you make your mother very unhappy when you eat so much candy that you can't eat anything else? The conversation always seemed to get around the effect of John's candy eating on John's mother. John couldn't see how it could possibly do her any harm if he ate candy. He sat silent for a moment. Then he said, may I go out and play, please, Daddy? Hmm. Seems like this problem is affecting other people, like his mother, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea of where this story might take place? We haven't put up any green ones. Where could it take home. place? At his home. At his home. I think so, too. Um, green, 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 green. Green, I love. That's good. All right. I think we can just put it on this page because we can tell that they're at home. Um, and it's definitely affecting his mom, but I'm curious how it will. So as we keep reading, maybe we can find out more ways it affects people, right? I got right? three, Mom. Okay. Accidentally, yeah, now I'll put them back. One. Can I have one? Let me put them back, please, so I can use them elsewhere. Thanks. Okay. So, so excuse me. Joyce? Yeah, I'm just coming over here to give you a hug. Oh, thank you. Okay, so, so far... In our reading today, we came across two vocabulary words that we learned. New words. Isn't that great? They both happen to have... Um, Easy at the end. So, um, they both have suffixes. <coughs> one has vowel suffix ed, the other one has consonant suffix s. But we um, learned a little bit more why his candy eating is a problem, right? Good. So what do you think is going to happen next? I don't know. I think he's going to spread the news a little to the whole entire universe. Mm. Spread them? I just wonder if he'll get worse. All right, well, we'll read more next time.